Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. Now, I haven't made one of these for probably a couple of weeks, so apologies for the delay in the latest recording, which is this one. But I'm here now. So that's the main thing. So what I thought we can do is, obviously before we go any further, just tell you to please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And ideally get yourself into a comfortable position, lying down on a comfortable bed, Maybe you're reclined in a chair that supports your body. Perhaps you're sitting up in bed for whatever reason. The main thing is that you're comfortable and remember that you can change your physical position at any time you need. Because there are no awards given for discomfort. There are no medals going to be sent to you in the post for laying there. Unless you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling uncomfortable, change the position of your body if it's, you know, safe to do so. So what I thought would be quite nice is... me and you to kind of sink get in sync with each other and I realise you can't tell me how you're feeling but I can I can focus on my body and tell you how I feel in each part so it's you know doing a body scan I do it out loud and I tell you how the different parts feel. So for this I'm going to actually lie down or I am lying down on the bed. Normally, I don't lie down on the bed because there's a large chance that I will fall asleep. Because I associate the bed with sleeping. I, you know, I'm an adult, I realise that Beds can be used for more than just sleeping in. For example, you can watch television or read a book. But predominantly, from a very, very early age, I don't know how old I was when I first slept in a bed, because, you know, like most babies, I'm sure I was in a cot you know for some time but you know I've been sleeping in beds for a long long time and I'm sure that you also like me have probably slept in quite a few different beds over the years unless of course you've you're still sleeping in a bed that you grew up with which is possible. The main thing is that the bed is comfortable. And what I like to do, and I realize it's, it's personal for everyone, and you will hear the bed squeaking a bit and you hear a bit of movement because I am moving. So when I lay down on the bed to 
start with I can just feel a sense of comfort just that sense of you know just letting go it's almost like floating in a way yeah I know I am aware that there's a mattress and you know I can feel it underneath my body supporting my body yeah at the same time I know that I'm I don't know two foot off the ground was it two or three foot off the ground probably two and a half two foot maybe so it's almost like floating and technically the earth is supporting me because the the earth is supporting the foundations which supports the house or the flat that I'm in or the house that you're in which supports the floor which supports the bed which is supported by the floor which supports you so there's a lot of supporting going on there there's a lot involved which doesn't need your conscious attention what I like to do is I like to take my socks off and even if it's a bit I generally don't go to sleep when it's cold I have the heating on in the winter and I turn it off just before I go to bed or if it's the summer then I don't have the heating on because it's warm or warm enough I like the freedom of taking my socks off so in the winter I wear clothes in bed I don't mean you know jeans and a or a, a suit with a tie and a coat and a hat I don't, I don't mean like wearing lots of clothes but you know pyjamas kind of thing I wear tracksuit bottoms and a t-shirt in the summer if it's warm enough then I don't and I love that feeling of freedom just having the air touching my body instead of just touching my face or my hands maybe my arms and my toes and my feet that feels lovely but in the summer to be able to have that on my chest and my legs just feels really freeing but there's something about my feet having that freedom once the socks have been taken off and I can wiggle my toes I just feel so free and relaxed and I'm doing it now I'm just moving my feet around moving my ankles it feels nice of course if if you have any physical issues in any part of your body then you wouldn't be moving it around because that may irritate it and that's the opposite to what we're doing here because this is relaxation and this is sharing an experience so just notice how your feet feel of course you don't need to take your socks off you can do whatever you want to do you can wear 
You can wear shoes and boots and bed if you want. But I would suggest do whatever you can so that you feel physically comfortable. So make sure that your stomach isn't, you know, you're not wearing something with tight elastic around your stomach and make sure that if you were wearing a t-shirt for example that it's not restricting your movement it's maybe nice and loose perhaps even a size too big just so you can move and feel comfortable and I have to get like extra, extra, extra large if I want to feel if I want to, you know, have an extra big top but it's worth it because it feels so relaxing and not restricting or restrictive probably the better word Now most people, when we get older, I'm, it could be any age, it could be 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, it could be teenagers, we've all, you know, we've all got our own things going on, you know, some people have physical issues from birth, some people sort of gain a physical issue in later life so for me my lower back is an issue so what I do is I stretch it but very very gently I just move my hips from side to side just gently stretching my lower back I kind of push upwards and push down with my lower back and my buttocks and it's all about being gentle with it and only you know what feels right for you and you may think, well, why am I talking about physical issues and maybe going into the category, of the domain of chronic pain, possibly? Well, that's one of the biggest causes of insomnia. Having a physical issue that can feel too uncomfortable and prevents a person from relaxing and feeling relaxed throughout their body enough to just let go and fall asleep when actually it is possible because when you relax the rest of the body the majority starts to take over and rule so when the majority of your body is relaxed it starts to move into the part that perhaps wasn't feeling particularly relaxed before causing that part to also feel relaxed and when that part feels relaxed the physical experience and 
and sensations change I mean they literally have no choice but to change because our physical feelings are always changing just as a way as our emotional feelings are always changing we just don't notice it just in the same way as you know we don't realise that the planet we're on is spinning around it looks like everything's just still when actually it's not it's just energy and it's moving everything's moving all the time but it doesn't feel like that to us It's about how you experience yourself in a way that allows you, you're giving yourself permission to relax all of your body, including those parts that may be needed needed the most relaxation and maybe you felt you couldn't quite reach it before but now your body does it automatically because your whole body is connected there isn't one part of your body that's separate from the rest of your body I know we call our head you know like a body and then there's the head but the head is part of the body it's connected a little thing called the neck you know and the spinal cord it's all connected there isn't anything that's not connected to us as far as our bodies go which means that feeling of relaxation and tiredness that spreads throughout your body it's not, it's not going to miss out one part that would be rude You wouldn't have a house party and not invite one, one person that lives in the house but invite everybody else. That would be rude. So when your feet feel relaxed even though you may not be aware of it at the time your hands become relaxed when your eyelids feel relaxed you may not connect the feelings but your back will start to feel relaxed and you know logically in our brains we kind of don't connect those parts what's the eyes got to do with the back what's your legs got to do yeah, with your hands or your arms got to do with your ears it's all connected it's 
suppose it's just like if you've got a bath full of water and you splash your hand in one side of the bath it affects the whole of the bath it affects you know the vibrations go through all the way to the other end of the bath So those vibrations of sleepiness and relaxation that you feel in maybe your stomach. So I'm feeling quite relaxed now. I always know when I've really got relaxed. When I'm laying down, I know when I've kind of reached that point of comfort is because I stop moving my head I don't mean I'm continuously nodding but I like to move my head from left to right probably every few minutes just to get comfortable and eventually I stop noticing my neck and I stop really being aware of any specific part of my body as it all seems to feel relaxed as one that's a really comfortable feeling because I can feel my lower back but there's no pain there there's no discomfort there it's just a feeling It's really no different to how my right calf feels. There's very little difference. It's not completely joined my body in the exact same level of relaxation when I focus on it I notice it a bit more than when I'm just observing my entire body like right now as I focus on my feet and just do a rough scan over the top of my body feel completely, completely comfortable and calm and relaxed, completely. There's not one part of my body that's anything other than relaxed and sleepy. And it actually feels really nice. Regardless of the whole falling asleep thing, it just feels really nice to lay here. feel safely supported by the bed to know that I don't have to do 
anything. I don't have to feel anything. I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to feel relaxed. And I don't have to feel sleepy. There are no rules. I can just allow yourself to feel how you feel right now in this moment and that sense of tiredness and sleepiness that is moving throughout your body and your mind is natural it can't be forced therefore there's no point even trying to force it because when you stop trying to feel sleepy that's when sleepiness comes naturally sleepiness comes naturally and there's nothing whatsoever to do There's nothing to think about. sense of safety Enjoying the comfort that comes from just being you. I'm just lying here. Twenty. 
frequency down to one and you can just allow that sense of comfortable relaxation to turn and transform into safe sleepiness. With each number relaxing you. Even more. Even sleepier. Now. Twenty. Oh, gee. 